whenever you're telling a story, you typically will use phrases like I told him, he told me, she told me, I told her. And in order yeah, to tell any story, you need these, right? But uh, when it comes to language learning, these are a little confusing. These may be a little confusing or tricky for some, they're not confusing at all. But if they are confusing and you happen to have trouble with this and struggle with this, this video is for you. I'm gonna teach you in this video how to say, I told him, he told me, I told her, she told me. These are very common, commonly used phrases that I see even intermediate students still struggling with. And I know I was struggling with, with this with Spanish um, until my teacher was just like, hey, just, just memorize these two things. And then whenever you're telling a story, this will add more kind of flavor to the story. You, you, you can describe more things in the story you're telling. Le dije, me dijo. She told me, le dije, I told him or her, me dijo, he told me. Because you're always saying this in the story, like I told him this, but he told me that. I told her this. But she told me this, okay? So we're gonna, I'm gonna point these out and in an upcoming video, we're gonna just practice. I'm gonna give you guys a, um, a story just in Arabic where I'm just using, I told him, or like I'm over using, I told him, she told me, just so you can practice, okay? So keep an eye out for that video. Starting off, so we're just gonna take a look at the verb uh, said in the past. So first off, we have ana ult, I said. This can also mean I told, but if you want to say I said to someone, this is where I'm going to point out that we need the L. So, ana ultillo, I told him. We're going to see that in a second. But anyway, I said ana ult. Keep in mind for those that are saying, isn't it ana ult? Yes, this is correct, ana ult. However, we're teaching dialect Arabic, particularly Levantine Arabic on this channel. And Levantine dialects, the qaf is either pronounced as a a, uh, stop, or a ga. So, it can be ana ult. Or anagult. And this is the case for a lot of dialects. The ka kind of changes pronunciation either to an a or a ga. Okay, so if you're new to Arabic, make sure to check out the free mini course if you're brand new and you happen to come across this video. So, first off, ana ult, I said, let's, let's kind of have a good grasp on these. He said, huwe al, huwe al, okay. She said, he alat. So, ana ult, huwe al, he al. Now, let's take a look at I told him and I told her. So, I told or I said, think of this as like, I said to him, okay? Uh, both can mean the same thing, like, and I told him, or I said to him, uh, the ult is the same, so I told, or I said, we conjugate that, and then think about it like you need to say, I said to him, okay? Uh, so, and ult l, or the l here kind of, um, kind of plays the role, of the to, okay, the preposition to. So, and then o is that object pronoun. I said to him. I didn't say, I don't say I said to he, okay, I said to him. That's that's an object pronoun. Subject pronoun is he, object pronoun is him. So, similarly in Arabic, um, the, the o here plays the role of the object pronoun, him. So, ana ultillo, ana ultillo, I told him. I told her, ana ultilha. Ana ult, again, ana ult, whether masculine or feminine, is speaking. Ana ult, ana ult, okay? In, in, in the present tense and the past tense, the ana form in Arabic is conjugated the same. But inta will change because we have inta and inti, and then who and he, and so on and so forth. But anyway, we have to know for the purpose of this video, we're just learning how to say, I told him, her, and then he told me, and then she told me, okay? So, ana ult lo, ana ult ha. Now, taking a look at he told me, so looking back just at the conjugation, right? We need to know this. We need to know These we need to know by heart. These need to be uh, yeah, I mean, memorized to the point where we're just saying it randomly in our sleep, where you're telling the story and, and dreaming in Arabic. This is next level, of course, but we need to get to that level. Get this down and then slowly you start, your brain will start telling you, okay, how do I break this down? He told me, he told or he said is who al, and then to me, we need the L, okay? So this, again, this can be he said to me and it actually is more that I just say he told me because that's kind of the more natural in English, okay? He told me, you don't necessarily always say he said to me uh, unless it's like a specific phrase, like he said to me, be careful, but come on in English, he told me to be careful, but yani, I just find told me to be more common, but anyway, I have both for you, but you'll notice that l here in Arabic, imagine it, or just think about it, um, that basically it it plays the role of the two, pay, plays the role of a preposition, okay, so who and li, and the e here, we don't say 
he told I, he told me, so we don't say huwa al ana, no, huwa al li. The e here plays the role of the object pronoun, so huwa al li, huwa al li. She told me, let's break this down, excuse me, let's break this down, so she told me, she said, bilawal, or she told, he alat, on its own he alat, right? And then to me, he alat li, he alat li. So, huwa al li, he alat li. Now, take a look back again here. Ana urtillu, ana urtillu. You can obviously, once you get to a more advanced stage, you start dropping the pronouns. You just say, Urtillu, Urtilha. Urtillu, Urtilha. Alatli. Alli. Okay? But if you're still a beginner, make sure to still use those pronouns until they're like hala solid in your head, and then you could slowly start dropping them. So, Ana Urtillu, Ana Urtilha, Huwa Alli, Hi Alatli. Okay? In an upcoming video, like I said, we're going to go over. Just I'm gonna say a full. I'm gonna tell you guys a full story just in Arabic. There's gonna be no English, but in the just listen series, and we're just gonna practice this. I'm gonna say Wali, he alatli, or then ara urtillo, so on and so forth. Urtillo is I said to him. We'll take a look at this later. But for now, I find this is very common whenever you're telling a story. I find that I use this in English and Arabic and Spanish a lot when you're when you're describing what happened. You're like, oh, but he said this and then she said that. So hopefully this helps you guys. In, in, you know, describing your stories in more detail. Remember, he told me, she told me, I told him, I told her, let me know if you guys have any questions. See you in the next video.